Alright guys, welcome to your, I don't know, I think it's like the 7th or something Ajax tutorial. I don't know, I'm not freaking keeping track. But anyways, in this tutorial, hopefully we're going to be finishing up the very simple Ajax program. So, remember, what we did in the last video is we basically uh, created the object that's responsible for communicating with the server behind the scenes. So we stored that object in this variable right here. So, in this tutorial, what I want to do is I want to code this process function. Now remember, as soon as we made, one of the first things we we did is we made a HTML file, we linked to the JavaScript file, which is this right here, and we called a function called process. However, there is no process function in this file. So let's go ahead and create that right now. So function process, and let me go ahead and give you guys a brief overview of why we need this function. This process function is basically going to be responsible for taking that object that we just created and sending a request to the server. Now remember that this function is going to get called as soon as your page loads. So this function is going to get kicked off ASAP immediately. So let me go ahead and show you guys what you need in this function. And Actually let me go ahead and give me some space to work with. All right, looks pretty good. So the first thing we need to do is we need an if statement. And let me actually build the shell for this. It's gonna be if else. Now in our if statement, what we're gonna test is we're gonna get that object. And actually, let me code this and then I'll talk you guys through because I don't wanna mess anything up. This ready state equals equals four or it equals zero. it equals zero. So remember, now now let me go ahead and explain. Alright, so basically this object right here it has a bunch of different functions and uh, variables already uh, built onto it thanks to JavaScript. One of them is you can get the state of this object right here. Now remember, this object right here is the object that communicates with whatever your server behind the scenes. So since it's a communication object, it has different states. Now zero and four, which we test for, oh, good thing I said that. Zero and four are the states where it says, okay, the object isn't busy communicating already, it's free and it's ready to communicate with the server. So basically, I'll talk about states in detail later on, but basically, if this is true, then your object is free, it's ready to you know, do what you want it to do, communicate with the server. All right, so what do we want to do if our server, or excuse me, our object is ready to go? Basically, this is what we want to happen. Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to get whatever the user typed in here. So if they type like a cheese, we want to go ahead and get the value of cheese. So how do we do that? Well, in JavaScript, what you do is you create a variable, and we'll just call this food, I guess, and set this equal to and code URI component and I guess the easiest way to do this is this document and if you guys don't know like what all these attributes are the document is basically your web page and uh, I talk about this in detail in my JavaScript tutorials but with your web page you can just go ahead and call functions like get element by ID and then what you need to do is you need to type a parameter in here and what this is going to do is go user input so basically what we're doing right here is we're going scanning our web page and saying okay what thing has the ID user input well this input section does right here and that's this right here but we just don't want that element we actually want the value of that element now the value is what the user typed in so just write dot value and now this right here let me just go ahead and end this now this variable food is equal to whatever the user typed in that input box so now food would be equal to cheese simple enough I know that's a really complex way of getting the variable or excuse me the text cheese but that's what you need to do alright now moving on the cool stuff how do you send a request or how do you communicate with the server using this XML HTTP object? Well, this object has a bunch of built-in functions already 
to communicate with a server. We don't have to code them ourselves. We just need to learn about them. So the first function I want to tell you about is open. So in order to use a function, of course, write the object's name XML HTTP dot open. Now open, I'll talk to you guys about the different parameters. Basically what this function does is it creates whatever request that we're gonna send to the server. So remember that I said that basically with anything in PHP it can accept information of one or two ways. One of two ways. Get and post. Now we can send uh, different types of uh, requests but let's just go ahead and keep things simple and send it a get request and I say that because well that's the kind we already accepted in our script. Ba basically remember this whatever request you send is the same kind you have to accept in your PHP script. Simple enough. So the first type is or the first parameter is what request do you want to send? What type? Get of course. Now the second parameter is you need to format if you're using get you need to format it. So remember in order to send get with a PHP just go ahead and type the name of your PHP file which is food store dot PHP 